What's going on everybody? Today in this video, we're gonna be doing some civil FE exam review, and we're gonna be focusing specifically on mechanics of materials. So I do have a practice problem for you all today, and I want to go ahead and jump straight into the content. All right, so before I start the practice problem, I like to share what subtopic we'll be covering today. And in the last video, we went through stress and strains. So if you, have, if you have not checked out that video, make sure you do so. And today we're gonna be looking at deformations. <clears throat> also, if you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so. I go through every single subtopic that's gonna be on your civil FE exam. And I want to ensure that you pass your exam on your next try. So this channel is supposed to give you some practice problems and tips to help you pass. So make sure you all hit that subscribe button. We are literally coming up on a thousand subscribers, which is super, super exciting. All right. So our practice problem for today says a steel rod of length L and uniform cross-sectional area A is secured between two walls. Okay, there's no figure, but we're gonna keep going. Use L is equal to 1.5 meters, E is equal to 200 gigapascals. We got that, I wanna call it sigma, but it's not sigma whatever that symbol is, is equal to 11.7 times 10 to the negative six divided by Celsius. And you got a change in T is equal to 80 degrees Celsius. Calculate the deformation caused by the change in temperature. Okay. So I like to start my problems and you can pause the video if you wanna attack this problem, but I like to start each problem by asking myself, do I need the handbook, the FE handbook for this problem? And my answer would be yes. And because I don't know deformation, I don't know what some of these symbols mean, but if I can find a formula that helps me out here, that's gonna, it's gonna really make this problem probably a lot easier. So the first thing is I would check in the handbook, okay? So pause the video, you go to the handbook and you find the formula that you're gonna need for this particular problem. All right, so now that you've paused and done the work yourself, this is the formula that you're going to need. It's called thermal deformations. And I will bring this up so that you can just see it. Okay. So why did I choose this formula and where did it come from? Well, we'll start with where it came from. So if you type in your handbook deformations, uh, and go under mechanics of materials. This is where mechanics of materials starts, I do you believe? Yeah. So you got mechanics of materials, and then if you just scroll down just a little bit, you'll come to thermal deformations. Now, I chose this problem because the variables that they gave and what they're asking for match, matched up. So, okay, they said calculate the deformation caused by the change in temperature. Okay, so I looked through my formula and I looked through my variables where it says where deformation caused by change in temperature. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for. So I will put a kind of like a, I should put a question mark. I'll put a red star. Here. 
All right, because I don't know that. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, the temperature coefficient of expansion. That's that weird symbol. They give us that. So that we do have. I'll just do like a circle. Um, the length of the member length is equal to 1.5 meters. So I do have that. Uh, final temperature. Uh, do I have that? I have, okay, final temperature. Don't really know if I have final temperature, initial temperature, but I do have a change in temperature. So in my formula, I know that T final minus T initial is change in. So really, I have that as well so it just looks like the only thing that i'm the only thing in my formula that i don't have is my deformation caused by change in temperature which is what i'm about to get now so let's go ahead and just fill this in and get our answer so um Okay, we'll say our temperature coefficient is equal to 11.7 times 10 to the negative six. And it's divided by Celsius. So I will put kind of like a bar here and we'll put a Celsius with a little circle up above it. So we know that's Celsius. I did that wrong, but we get the gist. This needs to move. Okay. Let's try that again. So Celsius, a little circle should just be in front of the C. Okay. And what is our L? This is 1.5 meters, right? meters and then multiplied by our change in 80 degrees or change in temperature which is equal to 80 degrees so our last thing will just be 80 degrees Celsius Okay, so that is all we need. Let's look at our units. So degrees Celsius cancels, right? So we should just be left with uh, meters, which is good. The the deformation is going to be a change in the rods, like how how much it changes because of the temperature. So if we want a really small deformation because we don't want our rod just to melt and become very, very short, right? Because it's in between two walls and I'm sure it's holding up something, so. All right. So last thing, getting our answer. You can pause the video if you'd like. Let me know what you get. So. 
I end up getting zero point zero zero one four basically meters. So that's really, really small, really, really small chain. So hopefully this was helpful. If a problem like this was helpful, then you would really like the sample guide and full guide that I've created for you. Now with both the sample guide and the full guide, it goes through and touches on all of these subtopics, but it not only touches on them, gives videos to explain the concepts similar to what I am doing, but it also has practice problem sets that are gonna be really helpful for you. And it's gonna have some practice quizzes that will test your knowledge and make sure that you can do the problems in the amount of time that the actual test is gonna be similar to. So definitely if you wanna check out that free resource or that paid resource, um, go down in the description box below and you should see a link that will allow you to access it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. In the next video, I'm gonna be looking at combined stresses principal stresses and probably more circle. So again, thanks for watching and make sure you have subscribed to the channel, like the video or comment any questions that you have about this particular problem or just the FE in general. Now we'll see you in the next one. Peace.